Dear European citizens of all boards, I use the English just to tell you uh, something that happens from time to time in big issues. Something about the country by country report that is now at stake, but it's also uh, very hot for the public opinion, uh, for ONGs and activism, etc. I'm, I must say that I'm very proud to have obtained with my colleagues of the, of the parliament uh, a sort of common basis of discussion with only nine votes against in the Commission. It's true that with many abstentions, because something has, and we have time, has still to be improved. Because why we have to obtain is a strong position of the Parliament, very support to debate with the Council and with the Commission, which will not be easy because they don't like it very much. What is at stake? At stake is the simple thing that to know Public, it's only a matter of transparency, not of fiscal policy, which is not the role of the parliament, of transparency. Transparency, that is to say, people could be, uh, because it will be published for first time in the history, and the first place in the world, Europe, the, the data will be done of where the big companies pay their, uh, their taxes, and where they produce, with economic data also, produce, where they are really producing and doing their, their, their role, uh, knowing, for instance, the number of employment they have, uh, the, uh, the, the, n the number of um, tools they produce, anything. No? Uh, this is a, uh, an enormous step. An enormous step for democracy is better and the democratic uh, the, the transparency. So if we obtain it, I think it will be historical because after this step overcome, the OECD will learn, other uh, continents, other civil society of other continents can push for it. Uh, that will be nice, but as it is a first step, we must be careful to find a good equilibrium between this transparency, between the fragility of our European companies, that means our employment too. So we have to find the way to go step by step and to protect, I don't know, any kind of fragility, any kind of danger punctually that can come. This is the safeguard clause, and the safeguard clause is the last point we have to, uh, to negotiate a little better, just to have no one vote against and no one abstention. I will take you uh, aware of our, our job, but I think it's so important for a better democracy, this fight, and I am involved in it from all the position, trying to find this equilibrium among us, trying to go together for it, that I inform you and I will keep, I will keep you informed in the future. Thank you very much.